glorious. I won't give in, I won't give in till I'm victorious. Welcome to SmackDown, welcome to SmackDown. And yes, guys, I'm wearing a new t-shirt. As you can tell, I've got the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose t-shirt. I uh, met the one and only Rob Van Dam today. And I was able to get my hands on two di Rob Van Dam I got I also um I also got my hands on a Sasha Banks. Look at it! The legit boss is now in the possession of Patrick Malathon. So anyway guys, I got two new t-shirts. I bought them at a place where I met Rob Van Dam. It was a pleasure to meet him. And what is that? And I will also be uh, heading out to the wrestling tour when they hit Melbourne. So anyway, guys, let's go over SmackDown Live. Now, I did not watch it, but I did get some ideas and what I saw on SmackDown Live. So I might have to go back and, you know, maybe, you know, watch it. But my brother did tell me a couple of things. Um, basically, of course, by... Um, But obviously you can tell by the introduction that I did. I know about the glorious Bobby Roode making his main roster debut. And also Shelton Benjamin has made his return to the WWE. AJ Styles and Kevin Owens agreed to a high stakes matchup for a later later in the night. So so it looks like they're going to be having another match by um looking at the results here. Bobby Roode made his debut against Aiden English. Uh, I actually went back and wanted to see this, so when I got home, I quickly looked at this on um, YouTube. This shirt's actually pretty thick on me. But, um, I got home, saw Bobby's entrance. And it was absolutely glorious. And he defeated Aiden English. Shelton Benjamin made his return to WWE and on SmackDown Live. He is now teaming and uh, he's going to be teaming up with Chad Gable. I love it. I absolutely love it. It is going to be great to see Shelton and Chad tag team champions. The Usos versus the High Pros. Um, the Usos won this match. Shinsuke Nakamura versus the Singh Brothers. And honestly, I loved this match. When I saw it, I just, you know, enjoyed seeing Shinsuke Nakamura beat the shit out of those two little scrawny little punks known as the Singh Brothers. and uh, King Shasa um, ki uh, King Shasa. Nakamura made uh, one of the Singh brothers tap out and gave the King Shasa to Jinder Mahal after the match Naomi and Becky Lynch versus Natalia and Carmella well what a great way to treat your new uh, Smackdown Women's Champion after becoming the champion she immediately loses in her first match as champion but Carmella was the one that took the pin According to WWE.com, reading it down below. Dolph Ziggler promises to do what the stars do next week on SmackDown Live. 
I honestly have no idea what he's talking about. United States Champion Ke uh, AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens with Baron Corbin as the referee. Uh, this was actually a pretty uh, weird match. I will probably say that. My brother told me exactly what happened. Um, Kevin Owens said, hey, if you help me win, I will give you the first title match. Shane McMahon eventually came out because Baron Corbin was being biased. And then Baron Corbin took off his t-shirt and left. And then and then Kevin Owens uh, got defeated by an Ace Styles Clash. Overall, to me... Uh, overall, to me... Overall, to me... SmackDown was a very good show. I don't care what people tell me. I think SmackDown was a very good show. Very great to see the glorious Bobby Roode on SmackDown. And uh, I hope you all um, had a good day. Look at this lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me let me let me know what you think of uh, my two new T-shirts of Sasha Banks and Dean Ambrose. I got these today when I was when I met the great Rob Van Dam. I bet a lot of people probably be jealous. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining me on my little quick thought review of SmackDown Live. I thought SmackDown tonight was glorious. It's the fact that Bobby Roode was there. I bet a lot of people are probably thinking SmackDown was still shit, even with Bobby Roode and um, Shelton Benjamin appearing. But honestly, I really do not um, understand why people should hate on SmackDown Live. Here's another thing before I end off. Um, a lot of people, um, I'm not saying names, but a lot of people were blaming SmackDown Live creative team for Jinder Mahal beating Shinsuke Nakamura. Blaming SmackDown, creative writers for Randy Orton burying Baron Corbin. SmackDown, creative writers for Baron Corbin's burial. So, why is it SmackDown's fault? You say you have zero faith in SmackDown. So, you're saying you have zero faith in SmackDown because SmackDown was the one that buried Baron Corbin. You have zero faith because SmackDown was the one that buried Rusev. So, you have zero faith in SmackDown because SmackDown was the one that had the modern day Mahalo bullshit Raja pin, pin Shinsuke Nakamura. It's not SmackDown's fault. It's not the creative team writer's fault. It's not Shane and Daniel Bryan's fault. It's Vince McMahon. So people, get that through your head. It's Vince McMahon's fault. I bet you the SmackDown, the SmackDown creative team are handcuffed, guys. The SmackDown creative team are handcuffed. Back last year, they could do whatever they want. They could have booked the way they wanted. They could predict the way they wanted to. But since Vince McMahon's there, they're being handcuffed. They're being handcuffed. They, what, what are they supposed to do? So please, guys, don't blame SmackDown Live and don't blame the creative writers for stupid, mis stupid mis decisions like this. You need to use your brain and realize it's Vince. It's not Shane. It's not Brian. It's not Road Dog. It's not Ryan Ward, who is still a part of the uh, SmackDown creative team. It's none of them. It's Vince McMahon. So hopefully, this video gives people and finally gives people to understand that it's Vince. McMahon! Please, I'm sick and tired of people saying, I've got zero faith in SmackDown. I don't trust 
SmackDown Live because they keep burying everybody. It's not S SmackDown Live. It's Vince McMahon. I don't want to rant. I don't want to rant about people, you know, blaming SmackDown Live. I don't blame SmackDown Live for anything. Yes, Jinder Mahal pin Nakamura. That's not going to make me blame SmackDown Live. That's going to make me blame Vince McMahon. Randy Orton beating Rusev. I, 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 I'm I a big Randy Orton fan. Obviously, you would know because I wear Randy Orton's t-shirts on here every now and then. But that's not going to make me say, oh, that this is all SmackDown's fault. No, it's Vince McMahon. I've given Rusev chances. I was willing to give Rusev a chance here on SmackDown. Baron Corbin, I've never really been a fan of. So I'm not going to say I don't care about Baron Corbin. Of course I care about Baron Corbin. I want to see him grow. I wanted to see that aggressive Baron Corbin that I, w that I want. That's what I said in my video. I want to see an aggressive Baron Corbin. He's not buried. Baron Corbin's not buried. He's only buried if he continues to lose every single week. So anyway guys, that has been my SmackDown Live review. And also I wanted to get this out. So that way people can finally get it understand. But no, not many people watch my videos anyway, so they'll probably still blame SmackDown and the creative writers for all this shit anyway, but Anyway, guys, that's been my SmackDown Live review. I hope you all enjoy it. And I will see you guys for my first ever reactions video where I'm going to react. Maybe I might do it. Maybe I might not since I've just come home and, I've been, and I'm a bit tired. But we'll soon see you guys. Anyway, thank you for joining me. See you guys later.